Hey guys, so we just arrived to Denver and we are staying at the Ritz-Carlton here in Denver. It's our first time here. Here's the bathroom. It's pretty nice. There's a little tub there. So yeah, really cute. Um, you can see me here in the view. Here is kind of my travel outfit. I just have my Nordstrom Free People little distress jacket, a piece of roll top, some black jeans, and then I'm wearing sneakers on the bottom. Love my comfy travel outfits. <laughs> I'll just quickly take you around. So we're here for essentially a wedding for one of my coworkers, but we decided to spend the whole week here in Denver and just hang out. Uh, my in-laws have the kids with them, so this would be a fun little trip for us, I think. So here's what the room looks like, so pretty nice. I will say there is not too spectacular of a view, but let me show you guys. There is Denver. Probably to get a quick bite to eat tonight. Tomorrow we're gonna try to go to a little bit nicer uh, restaurant, maybe the steakhouse always downstairs. And I will try to take you along for as much as we can. I am um, also gonna be, unfortunately, doing some work, but we'll have some downtime. And on Wednesday night, we're gonna go to see the Avalanche play, so another hockey game, which is gonna be super fun, I think. So yeah, looking forward to um, this little mini getaway. All right, I will check in with you guys soon. Just wanted to check in with you guys today. It is the third day of our trip here now. We're still in Denver and we've been having a good time. It's really kind of a chill type of vacation. I will say that I am a little surprised at how quiet the streets are. I mean, we're staying in the heart of the city here and I mean, there's really not a lot of people walking around during the day or even in the evening. So I will say I was a little surprised about that. I don't know if you all have been to Denver or are from here, um, but I was definitely surprised by that. In a lot of ways, of course, it is refreshing as well, but I sometimes want a little bit more hustle and bustle in the city. It's a little too quiet here, but nonetheless, it's been pretty relaxing. Um, I hope you've been enjoying the little vlog so far. Um, as you probably have seen on the vlog already, yesterday um, I went to Red Rock Amphitheater where they have a lot of famous concerts, of course. Um, the views were spectacular. Um, I just had never seen anything like those rock formations before and we actually did a little hiking which was really fun. 
Um, there's a little place called Dinosaur Ridge there as well, which I believe um, it was a site of a lot of dinosaur fossils that were found. I think a lot of the fossils have been found in Colorado in general. And as I may have talked about before, my five-year-old son is obsessed, I will say obsessed with dinosaurs. And it's not just a phase because he's been this way, I would say almost his entire life. This is his one big interest. He really never got into all the other typical kid types of figurines and toys. He's just always been a dinosaur guy. So it was really fun to kind of take some pictures for him. There's a little kind of visitor center. And as you may see here on the side of me, we did pick up a little Parasaurolophus for him. So super excited to take this home to him. I think he's gonna love it, um, but that was fun. There's this little place called Dinosaur Ridge. But really the highlight of that little trip was the Red Rock Amphitheater and the Red Rock um, Park and hiking. So if you're ever in this area, highly, highly recommend um, checking that stuff out. So after that, we went to, of course, uh, do some shopping. That's also what I love to do on vacation. There aren't a lot of big shopping areas here, I'll say, as far as I'm aware. There's this um, one mall where I think they have all of their luxury stores kind of grouped together. I looked around a little bit at Hermes and um, I was told that this is the only Hermes store in all of the mountain time zone, I think is what I was told which is pretty amazing. Um, you know, I looked around, I didn't really get anything. I tend to like to really try to shop at my home boutique. So, um, you know, I kind of passed a lot of stuff, but it was fun to check out and talk to some of the um, sales associates there. And then I went into Louis Vuitton, as you may have quickly seen, and I did a little bit of damage there, a little bit of an unexpected splurge type of purchase. I got two things. I will do a formal unboxing um, after this video um, goes live because I want to dedicate a little bit more time to talking about those particular items. So um, stay tuned for that. I think that'll be the only luxury shopping I do here because honestly, there isn't a huge incentive to buy luxury here. Unlike Hawaii, of course, where Louis Vuitton at least has a really good Hawaii discount and lower tax. Here, I believe the tax is about 8.9%, which is pretty high. It's not quite as high as California, but getting there. And I mean, there's no extra discount as you pay retail. So not a huge lot of incentive to shop here, but I did it just because I'm on vacation. It was a little bit of a whim. So I'm excited to share with you guys what I picked up. Just real quick as well, um, showing you guys kind of whatever along with me is my hand carry. I finally took out my beautiful Mon Monogram Neverfull GM, um, which I love. I've only used this a handful of times before, as you can probably tell by the very light fichetta still. Um, but I love this bag. I'm gonna try to take it out more. It's a little big for day-to-day -day type of a bag for me, but I really like using it as a hand carry travel bag. It does fit really well under the seat in front of me on the airplane, because I just kind of squish in the sides a little bit and fold the handles down. So it sat very nicely there. So far it's held pretty well too, um, in terms of any kind of wear and tear. And I always worry about this paint here, but it's done pretty well. I do have a bag organizer in here, which I rarely carry um, from algorithm bags, but with the GM size, I think it is really helpful to have an organizer just because it's such a huge um, little pit. So I'm not gonna do a full what's in my bag. It's typical type of travel gear that I have here, but I just wanna share with you guys how much I've been loving this bag. So I think it's a great little travel piece, which I'm probably gonna be using more and more. And then I have to tell you about this little bag that I brought with me. So I um, just posted a Lululemon a comparison video between a couple of my Lululemon uh, everywhere belt bags. And I love this little belt bag. I finally found a couple of these uh, in fleece though that recently um, were restocked. So I was so excited. So I picked up all the colors. I went a little crazy. Um, and I brought this along with me. I threw it in my Neverfull. And then this I wear, you know, cross body and just kind of wear it around as my little travel companion. This is gorgeous. It's in the burnt caramel color. And you can see it's this little fleecy kind of teddy material or Sherpa like material, which is so cute. Otherwise, it's the same setup as the other belt bags that I've showed before with this awesome back slip pocket here for either card holder or phone, fits perfectly there. 
But this one at least is in the gold hardware on this burnt caramel, which is beautiful because as you all know, I tend to favor gold tone metals a little more. So I've been loving this. And seriously, I've gotten so many compliments just on this bag. So um, even at Hermes and Louis Vuitton, all those sales associates commented on this bag. They wanted to know where I got it. They even asked how much it was and how to get it. So it was kind of cool. I was very excited to kind of walk in there with a $58 bag and have you know, those essays really kind of get excited about it. So definitely, definitely check this bag out. Um, I think it's definitely worth the money, especially in these cooler months. This kind of Sherpa-like material is super, super um, fun and really wearable. It doesn't shed. Um, so far, I've been super pleased. So I brought this along with me too. All right, so, oh, I should also say, you guys like talking about Starbucks too, I have this here. We just I got a quick bite to eat at Starbucks for breakfast, and I got um, a mushroom and kale egg bites. I hadn't tried that version before, so I really, really like that. Um, so that was yummy. And then I got um, a hot coffee, because it's a little cold here today, but I've been really liking the chai tea lattes recently, for whatever reason. So that is what this is. I get it extra hot with oat milk. That's my drink of the day. And then I wanted to show you guys this cute little mug or cup. So this is obviously the basic Starbucks mug but or cup. But I got the Colorado version. This one, I will say, isn't all that fun. Um, but I'm going to start collecting these. So, so far, I have California, obviously. That's where I live. And then um, Hawaii, when we just went there, I might have showed you guys. Um, the Hawaii one is beautiful. It has a whole sea life um, theme on the cup. And the lid has this really beautiful... Um, you know, decorations on the top too. It looks kind of like mermaid-like. But this one, I don't know, it looks like it's kind of phoned in a little bit, but you know, it's Colorado. So who knows when I'm gonna be back here. <laughs> so I picked this up and my goal is hopefully as I travel more, I'm gonna try to pick up a different state uh, cup whenever I visit that state. We'll see how it goes, but stay tuned for more of these to come. All right guys, so today's agenda, I have, you know, a couple of work meetings I mean, I will say, isn't it nice that we have Zoom these days? Well, it's nice and not nice because I am technically on official vacation. So in some ways, it's not nice because if it wasn't for Zoom, I wouldn't be able to go to meetings. But it's also a little nice because I can still keep up with things and go to my you know meetings that I normally attend and I just do it remotely. So I have a couple of meetings I'm going to log into. And then um, my husband and I are going to go to eat kind of an early dinner. We haven't really figured out where we're gonna go yet. Um, oh, I forgot to mention, you might have seen a couple of pictures of our delicious dinner last night. We went to Elway's and it's here at the Ritz where we're staying and it's basically a steakhouse. So I had really delicious prime rib, lobster. We had a bunch of sides. We had some cocktails. I mean, it's been just super fun. So definitely recommend that place. I mean, it was just a really kind of casual vibe for a steakhouse too. And you know, I'm more of a casual person in general. So I really, really enjoyed that. So and then the big thing tonight is we're gonna be going to Colorado Avalanche game and it's their opening night against Chicago Blackhawks. And I'm super excited about that. Um, and you are unfortunately watching this significantly delayed, I will admit. It's because as soon as I get home, I'm going to have a lot of work responsibilities and family responsibilities. So I probably won't get around to editing this for quite a bit. So I apologize for that. But tonight, at least, it is opening night for hockey here in Colorado. And of course, the Avalanche are the reigning uh, Stanley Cup champs. So, so excited to see them. I'm not normally a huge hockey fan, but as you may have seen on previous vlogs, we do try to check out some hockey games whenever we're in a new city. So it's really special that the Avalanche are playing tonight while we're here. So we're gonna go get geared up in Avalanche gear. I will take a couple of pictures if I can um, and share with you guys, but that's super exciting. And the Blackhawks actually are staying in this hotel because every time we go downstairs in the lobby, there's a bunch of fans hanging out trying to get autographs. So, you know, it's kind of fun too. It's kind of a good vibe here right now in the city uh, with regards to hockey. So we will be there tonight. And then tomorrow we head out to Estes Park. And that's really why we're here is for my friend's wedding or coworker's wedding. And um, we're gonna head over there. I think it's a little bit of a drive. So I'm gonna try to take you guys along with me and show you some of the scenery. And then I'll show you what it's like when we get there. And then the wedding is in a couple of days. 
So that's a little bit of a check-in. I hope you guys are enjoying this so far, and I will see you soon. Hey guys, so welcome to the last day of the vlog. So we have been here in Estes Park for a little over a day now, and you probably have seen some of the beautiful, beautiful sights that we've seen here. Last night we had a little bit of a welcome party uh, that was thrown by the bride and the groom. Uh, there are just some gorgeous views of this area. So it's been really fun kind of exploring the little downtown this morning too. Um, but we're about to head out to the wedding, so I'm going to show you guys my outfit real quick in the bathroom mirror. <laughs> i got to make do with what I have, of course, um, and show you guys what I'm going to be wearing, and then we're going to head up and go to the wedding. So I'm not going to be vlogging at the wedding just for privacy reasons, um, so I will try to take some pictures at least of the scenery, and I'm going to take pictures as we head on out tomorrow. But otherwise, I think I'm going to end my vlog here. It's been super fun taking you guys along with us on this little brief mini vacation to Colorado. I hope you guys had fun. Um, again, stay tuned one minute. Let me go ahead and head into the bathroom, quickly show you what my outfit for the wedding looks like, and then I will sign out. See you in a minute. Okay guys, so here is my very unglamorous bathroom shot here where we're staying in Estes Park. But in case you're curious what I'm going to wear, I found this really cute little dress uh, at the mall and it has these fun little appliques on them and flowers. So I thought it was just pretty unique and it is really cold here actually in Colorado. So um, I wanted something that had more coverage. Um, this is a midi length. You probably can't see, but it goes, there you go. You maybe see a little, it goes just below my knees, which I really love these days. Midi length dresses really are kind of what I gravitate toward. And then I'm going to be wearing um, some really pretty cream colored heels with, uh, of course, some bling. So some uh, diamond and pearl accents. I have my Dior tribal earrings that I recently picked up in Hawaii. And as you all can see, I of course have my Chanel walk. And this bag has been so useful going out for me. As I mentioned earlier in this vlog, I'm trying to expand my smaller bag, kind of going out bag wardrobe because besides this walk, I don't really have a lot of that type of bag. So I'm hoping to add more of these kind of cute little mini bags to my collection so I can use them kind of more versatilely and, you know, going out as well. But, you know, hey, this is the look. 
It's a little bit conservative, of course, but this is, again, a coworker. So um, I tried to pick something a little more conservative, a plus that's a little warm because we're gonna be spending a lot of time outdoors. So I hope this works. Um, I'm excited to see everybody and go ahead and kind of check out the venue and have a great time. I mean, this is really why we're here. So I think it's gonna be awesome. Anyway, so I'm gonna sign out here. Thank you so, so much for watching. Stay tuned for my quick Louis Vuitton unboxing as the next upload in case you're curious. Thanks for coming along with me. I'll leave you guys with a couple of shots that we take as well as we head back to Denver Airport tomorrow. All right, take care. See you in my next video. Bye.